Hey you guys, welcome back to Be Random Fishing. It has been a horrible week. We just got a break in the rain, so I wanted to show you guys this. Kind of an update on the quails, what we feed them, what the quail eggs look like, and uh, a quick recipe of how we use the quail eggs to help support like our nutrition and stuff like that. So this is what we feed them. It's this Purina Optimum Nutrition. And for the 50 pound bag, it's like 20 bucks. So they, they cost about 20 bucks a month to feed, maybe a month and a half. And then that's them out there. Oh, and I got me a new a new recorder since uh, my last one broke when I fell off my kayak. But that's them all hunkered down in the in the weather. You can hear the thunder in the background. So on these this food, I just got one of these uh, just a milk jug. I cut it like this. And then I'll come in here and get me a scoop. What are y'all doing? There's five of them. And usually we come out here and we get a... Oh, you can't even see. Hold on. It's starting to rain. So we come out here and we put a little bit of hay in the bottom. It's been raining, so the hay's kind of nasty right now. It needs to be changed up. But we built these little wooden boxes. And they look, they look kind of wet, so they can hide out from the rain in these little wooden boxes. And then we just got a little water container that needs to be cleaned out, and the food container. So I'll just take the food and dump it in. Oh, it's starting to rain good now. And then I'll check the boxes for eggs. Little eggs there. Oh, there's some eggs. I didn't really like this back corner. Yeah, they're real chill. I can come in, in the cage here and not have to worry about them jumping out. But these are the quail eggs. Ooh, it's starting to come down. I gotta get, get back inside. All right, it just stopped raining. Let's go on out here and change out that nasty water. Yes, this water bucket's super easy too. You just twist it and pop it off like that. It's a flock party poultry drinker. And you just turn it upside down and fill up this bucket like this. And you just turn this upside down. Screw it on so those three tabs are in there. And that's it. And then it, it drains the water out this little hole right here. And this bucket will last like two or three days. But usually we clean it out every day just so they have clean water. And the cage is just this fine mesh. It's like pretty fine on the bottom, like one eighth inch or three sixteenths inch. It's real fine on the bottom. And then the sides are like, like half inch. And we had a problem with snakes getting in. We had a snake get in and kill one because um, we think they got in where the corrugated roofing is, like right there. So we did all this foam installation and we haven't had any issues with snakes since. They're just happy as can be. You can kind of hear this one cooing. And you can see, like the cage is open, they don't run out. They're pretty good. And they can't really fly or do anything. We've had one get out before and Noah was able to catch it. But this is us. This is our little quail farm. Um, there are two males and three females in here, so um, we could actually make uh, make more quails if we wanted to incubate the eggs and then and hatch and raise the babies, so we might do that in the future too. These guys here are, we hatched them last year, so they're a little over, a little over a year old. It was like last February, March, April, May, so about a year and four months old probably, a year and three months old. Whoa, crazy. Where are you going? Yeah. 
Yeah, they're super easy to take care of. They're not loud. It's real good for a subdivision like this. It won't make your neighbors mad like a, a rooster or something would. But these are the quail eggs. They're, uh, they're little tiny ones. So it takes a lot to make a full breakfast if you want to do like a full breakfast with quail eggs. But they're supposed to be really healthy for you with uh, extra nutrients and stuff like that more than, more than say like a chicken egg. So what I'll do is I'll take like three a day. So I'll do like one egg and three egg whites and then I'll add like three quail eggs to it just to make the breakfast more nutritious. So um, I'll show you guys kind of like my, my little quail egg breakfast scramble because the quail eggs are kind of interesting. They don't break open quite as easy as a chicken egg. They're, they have this membrane under the shell that's, that's a little thicker. But that's it, that's straight out of the cage. That's what they look like, not cleaned or anything. That's them. And we just chop all this up. And now I really like to use grapeseed oil. And then you add all the veggies. And then I usually cook this up until the onions get like, like soft. And as that's cooking, I'm gonna dice up some of this spinach. I just grab a handful. So now that's ready. And once the onions are done, we're just gonna add this to the onions right before we add the eggs. And then as the onions are cooking, I'm gonna add black pepper and some pink salt. As I'm waiting, usually I'll get on Instagram and just uh, mess around. Ooh, I'm gonna go enter to win this. So while the onions are almost done, we got the eggs ready. This is the difference here, look at that. We got the quail egg and a regular egg. That's pretty neat. Now the shell on a regular egg, I'm sure everybody's cracked open an egg. You crack it open, you just break it open, it comes apart, two halves, the egg comes out. It's real easy. Now the quail eggs on the inside, right under the shell, there's that membrane. It's real thick. So I'll show you guys how I, how I do that here in a minute, once we're ready to put them in the pan. But I think the onions are ready for the spinach. I like to put the spinach in just a, a little bit before I put the eggs in. And then I'll mix that up. So what I do is I'll do two egg whites, one full egg, and then two full quail eggs. So this is how I get the egg whites out. I crack the egg. See how easy that egg just breaks right in half? And then I just kind of go back and forth with the yolk until the egg whites come out. And then one full egg. Now to do the quail eggs, watch, I'll, I'll hit it on the side of the pan. But you can't, you can't break it in half. They're like almost rubbery because of that thick membrane. So what I'll do is I'll just pinch a piece here and rip through and rip that membrane. They're almost like turtle eggs, kind of. You just dump the egg in. And just like that, we got two quail eggs a regular egg and two egg whites. So now I just mix it all up. You could make an omelet if you want to make it look pretty. I just mix it up. It's kind of like a southern scramble. All right guys, well, I'm gonna eat my breakfast and you guys have a good day.